Hello everyone, I hope you are well. In today's video, we will see how can we create system architecture diagrams which are more advanced versions than our previous diagrams. We will create group workers on AWS, stateful architecture on Kubernetes, and clustered web services, etc. with the help of ChatGPT. But before starting, did you watch my previous video in which I talked about how can we create system diagrams using ChatGPT with the help of Marmid and Draw.io? If you are newer, I am Hassan and I post tutorials on this channel. If you might be interested in watching those videos, consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, comment now on this video. Let's start today's video without any further delay. So the tool we are going to use today is the ChatGPT with the help of diagrams.minigamer. You can just google it. You will see this diagrams. Diagram has code mingrammar or mingrammar. So open this website. You will see something like this. So we can see this website right here. We'll create these type of diagrams and we can also show the examples. So these are the examples, group workers on AWS, clustered web services, event processing, etc. So first of all, we have to see that how can we use this tool and, and how we are going to install it. So you can see that there is an installation guide. If you click on it, you will see that it requires two things. It is one of, one of the things is Python 3.6 and you need to install graph viz so it is very simple so you can just install this graph viz by just clicking on it you will see this and for windows you will see right here so for this you can just install the second one or the first one it depends on you on the system architecture of your windows so if this 32 bit then you are going for 32 bit otherwise 64 bit i've already installed this one so i'm going to just show you how can you install it so after downloading the setup you will see this so for installing it you have to click next and i agree to it and for this you have to just go for for the current user you have to select this one last one and for your help you can just create graphics desktop icon and click on next select the destination folder and install it i've already installed it but you can just simply click on install and by following these instructions i previously told you and click on install it will automatically install it so this was about graph phase setup now we are going to for this python setup let's go for the python setup so for python you can just google it and you will see this go to downloads and download the latest version so here it is the latest version looking for python with a different os python for windows you can click on it or you can just simply go for there so i'm going to just download from here and you will see this select any location it will download the setup so after opening the setup of the python you will see this screen then you have to click on install now and don't forget to check this thing at python.exe to path because you have you have to use this python.exe in the command prompt so it is necessary to add this thing to the path and click on install you will see this after installing it you will see this setup was successful you can close just close it so for checking this you can just simply go to command prompt and click and just type python and you will see this is if you will see this screen that means you have successfully installed python so now we are going to install in diagrams with we have to install this tool with the help of python therefore we install python and add it to the path of the system variables now let's see what are the instructions for installing this you can see that there are three ways to install this tool using pip3 and using pip env and poetry we are just going to use the first one so for this you can see that the library is called diagrams so for this you can just go simply go to your command prompt and type pip install diagrams press enter it and it should automatically download this i've already installed pip so if you didn't install previously you can just use this command to install the pip or you can just google it how to install pip for python for because it is very much necessary to for installing diagrams now we have done installing everything now let's go how can we create system architecture diagrams now let's try to create a first example group workers on aws so there are some prompts you have to keep in mind i'm going to show you the prompts these are the prompts uh, the first prompt is what is this website used for you have to just simply copy this prompt and don't forget to paste this prompt before you do any work with diagrams dot main grammar so go to chat gpt i'm going to just paste it and let's see what it gives us so it generated this response and we don't have to do anything with this prompt 
but we have to reduce the errors because you may have experienced that ChatGPT generates syntax errors. Therefore, you have to do this and don't forget to, therefore, don't forget to execute this prompt. After that, let's go to the another prompt. Give me sample code for diagrams.mingrammar.com for clustered web services. Now we are going to just copy this and we are going to create four group workers. Copy this and let's see what it gives us. I'm going to press enter. Let's see. So guys, here is the result for the group workers on AWS. Let's see if this is working correctly or not. So for this, you have to just go to create new file and you can just name it anything you want, but don't forget to change the extension. It should be .py because we are going to use Python to run this file. After that, you can just open with notepad. You don't need any editor and paste this code. Don't forget to save the file. After that, what do you have to do? You can see this, the location. You have to type here CMD. It will automatically pop up the command from right here. Now for executing and generating the diagrams, so what you have to type is python diagram.py press enter and let's see if it successfully generates the diagram and if you see this and see this file the diagram generated then you have successfully generated the diagram for group workers on aws let's see what it gives us okay here is the thing you can see that it is just a sample diagram uh, because we are you can see that from we asked for give me sample code for diagrams dot grammar for group workers on aws so this is just a sample diagram uh, we can obviously give any case to chat gpt for example you can give any case for online shopping application then it will generate the diagram according to it now let's try another example clustered web services let's just copy the name and paste it right here don't forget to copy this from and we have to paste it let's see what it gives us i'm going to press enter so guys here is the result let's copy it and see if it works correctly or not so i'm going to just remove this one and save it over it and save the file run that previously previous command and it should generate the diagram so it successfully generated the diagram let's refresh it so you can see that here is clustered web services and this is just a sample diagram you can see that now let's check the difference what is the difference between the these diagrams from the website and the generated by the chat gpt so you can see that difference it generated another diagram but it is clustered web services so so far it is working very much correctly now we can try another one we can go for complex one let's try stateful architecture on kubernetes i'm going to copy it and paste it right here don't forget to copy the prompt and do the same. I'm going to press enter and let's see what it gives us. So guys, here is a code for a stateful architecture on Kubernetes. Let's copy it and I'm going to paste over it. Save the file and run that command again and go that to that folder and it has successfully generated it. Okay, right here you can see that it is the stateful architecture on Kubernetes diagram and we can also compare it with this one. So you can see that it is also using these type of icons which are used in a stateful architecture diagram of Q on Kubernetes which is provided by this website. So for it is working correctly it is not generating any syntax error but i am going to ask sgpt to assume a case for online shopping application and then generate the diagram for a stateful architecture on kubernetes so what you have to type assume case for online shopping application and then generate code for stateful architectures on kubernetes press enter let's see what it gives us so guys it successfully generated the stateful architecture on kubernetes for online shopping application i'm going to copy the code and let's see what it gives us uh, save the file and do the same run that previous command so you can see that there are some errors so for this you can just simply copy this error and paste it on the chat gpt and you can just try for one or two times maybe and after that i'm going to show you how can you erase the error if it does not work with the help of chat gpt let's see what it gives us right now so you have to just copy this and you can see that the last line shows that rest of the code remains the same so we have to see that where is this last line so with diagram is right here we have to copy from here and then paste it right here so from here from the above to this line paste it and save the file and let's again generate this so you can see that we have something right here which shows that part two online shopping app you have to just remove it we can ask ChatGPT to remove it so i'm going to say it don't include external images press enter and let's see so we generated another code let's see if this works or not i'm going to just do the same save the file and run the command so now it successfully generated that application file let's see so here it is our online shopping application stateful architecture so this is just an example as i said before you can try another use cases or you can give your own use case or you can ask ChatGPT to assume it anyone now i'm going to tell you another thing you might face an syntax error in the code 
given by chat gpt you saw that i just removed the error by just asking from it again you can also try that but if that doesn't work you have to do this for example if you are generating the diagram for advanced web service with on premises then you have to copy this code for example you have to copy this code and paste it right here and go to that form you have to you can see that example code from their website you have to copy this and paste it above the code and at last you have to paste this too it says it but don't copy it just learn from it and give me code for my use case online shopping application then i am sure it will just generate the correct code because I tested it, it was giving me some errors, but I did that and it successfully generated the code. It learned from the previous code of the website and it generated the correct code. So there are many examples. You can see that advanced web service with on premise with colors and labels. You can also try it. And there is one more diagram, Rabbit MQ consumers with custom nodes. There are many diagrams in this tool for system architectures. You can just use for your purpose and give any use case or ask ChatGPT to assume it anyone. So this was all about today's video. If you have got any questions about the installation of Python or if you have any questions about this tool, you can just come in on the comment section and I will answer them all. So if you like the video, click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell icon so you will be notified when I publish the next video. Thank you guys for watching.